What's up, Internet? We're going back to our roots and we're going to create motion graphics that are all about standing out while talking about some awesome creative effects. So in this After Effects video, we're going to create some creative chaos with the Split Warp title. However, all the effects used in this video should give you ideas that can be used for your other projects. So before we jump in, be sure to smash that like button and let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. We're rocking the post Halloween colors here and you can download the project files for absolutely free. So in our first technique, we're gonna create this stacked split title, which is really easy to do. So here we are in a tutorial composition. All we have here is a title and a very dark orange background. So once my title is ready to go, I'll go to layer pre-compose and I'll call it title placeholder and click OK. So once I'm pre-composed, I'm gonna go to the project panel, grab my title placeholder that I just created and go to edit duplicate. And I'm gonna bring this right into our timeline. And I'll make sure that this new duplicated version is right underneath the first one. And I will go ahead and recenter this. Perfect. So now you're able to go into that other composition and change out your title. But we'll go ahead and talk about that later. So what I'm going to do is take my title here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And I'll go ahead and bring it up by a little bit like this. And I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to create a mask like so. So what I'm doing here is just creating a little bit of a gap. And we can use the arrow keys to adjust this. Now we'll want to continue doing this. So we'll duplicate this again. And we'll go ahead and bring this one up. Then we'll hit MR keyboard for the mask and we can select that mask there and kind of just bring this up like so. And we can create several more duplicates of this. And go ahead and create as many copies as you want as it gets progressively smaller. Now the one thing we're going to want to do is animate this. So we'll go into our original placeholder here and we'll grab our title, hit P on keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move this keyframe forward in time maybe by a second. And we'll go ahead and bring this downward like so. And we'll grab both the keyframes, make them easy ease by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So this is what we'll have. So one thing we'll do is create a staircase animation here. So we'll grab our top ones and just offset them in time by a few frames. So now we'll have this animation like so, and that looks really cool. So now that we have the top part of the animation done, now we just got to do all this again for the bottom part. And then as before, once you have the bottom ready to go, you need to go back into the bottom placeholder where you can do your own title if you want to change it up. And this time around, you'll add a keyframe for position, set that to a second, and move that title up. And just like before, you're going to create that staircase animation, but for the bottom titles only. So here's currently what we have, and we want to have the two main titles already on. We'll just take our two bottom layers here and move them forward in our timeline, and they'll already be there. And then we'll just have it expand outwards. Now, I'm going to keep the bottom title exactly the same, but I wanted to show you that you can change this. And what I'm going to do is take these two original layers, and I'm going to go ahead and just split them and delete the original cuts there. So what I can do is take all my layers and offset them in time. And with some clever position keyframe animation, I can have these two middle titles start off in the center by aligning these back in the center of the composition. And with this clever animation idea, we can have this entire title expand out in parts. And I really like that. So now that we have the bulk of our work in here, we can take this next level with some really cool creative effects. The first thing we'll do is an awesome glow effect. So we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, go to effects, stylize, we'll grab glow. We'll set the glow threshold to 100%. We'll duplicate our glow effect. So we'll have two here. We'll bring down the glow threshold to about 45% and we'll set our glow radius all the way to max, which is a thousand. And then we'll come here to glow intensity and set this down to like 0.4. Nice. And then let's go to effect noise and grain and just add a quick noise to this. And I'm going to set this to like 5% noise and uncheck use color noise like that. So if you zoom in there, you get a little bit of nice noise in there and that looks good. And quickly before I move on, I know that creating motion graphics from scratch is time consuming and sometimes difficult. That's why we have the 150 pulse pack to make your work stand out right here in After Effects. So this is our 150 motion graphic extension right here for After Effects. We call this Pack Pulse because we have these really cool designer, you know, full screen motion graphics for, you know, typography, Instagram stories, cool animated backgrounds, lower thirds, and even long form promos. But how this pack works is aimed to help you save time. So for example, we can come here and apply a template that we like, and it applies this full animation into our active project. We can double click the composition and we go into each title layer and we easily change out our titles and you can quickly change the colors of every single template in here with a click of a button to whatever color palette that you need and the animation will update in your main composition so if you're looking to save time and produce work that's just right out of the box you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much so one thing i don't really like about the text here in the middle is that it's so clean so I want to mix this up with some opacity effects and it's really quick what we can do here. So we, what we can do is grab, say, one of these layers here, hit T on keyboard for opacity and alt click the stopwatch and we'll type in random open parenthesis 100 and there'll be closed parenthesis like that. So what's going to happen is we're going to have this random flicker here where the opacity is going to go from zero to 100 and we can take this 
expression, copy it, and we can paste it to, a, say, another one here as well. So I think that really mixes it up and looks really cool. So I want to take this a step further, make this wonky, and even transition it off. So some cool creative effects that we can go through here. So what we're going to do is take all the titles that we have here and pre-compose it. And we'll call it title stack, click OK. And what we're going to do is go to effect, distort, and we're going to grab turbulent displace. All right, and what we want to do is after the title has been stacked in here, we want to go ahead and create that animation. So what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for amount, set that amount to zero, and then we'll move forward maybe by a second, and then we'll set this up to like 300. And we'll want to come here to the evolution, alt click the stopwatch, and type in time asterisk 50. So now we'll have this wonky animation in here. And one thing I want to do is even take this further and kind of transition this off. So we'll come here to effect, transition, and we're going to grab CC uh, scale wipe. And this is one of my favorite effects these days. So how this works is simple. We'll come here to the direction and we'll set this actually to negative 90 degrees. So this will go off on the left side here. So what we're going to do is come here and increase the stretch. And you get this really awesome distorted look where it's kind of being pulled off the screen. So we'll go ahead and set that stretch down to zero, of course. We'll add a keyframe for it. So we'll move forward by a second or so, increase the stretch, kind of like that. And one thing we'll also want to do is at that first keyframe, add a keyframe for center, move forward, and animate that center point to be over. So this way, it can be kind of flown off the screen. So now we'll have this wonky animation here, and you're welcome to make those easy, easy keyframes as well. Um, and that looks really good. Now we can take this even further, and we can actually manipulate the text real quick. So we'll go back into our compositions, go into one of the placeholders, and say right around that time when that distortion happens, we'll take our layer, and we'll go to uh, Edit Split Layer. And what we'll do is we'll turn off the fill color here, and make sure the stroke is on, and we'll set the stroke up to like 3. So now you'll see that the top titles turn into a stroke. So it's just a really another layer of creative chaos. All right, so the final effect I want to do here is just split this up and give it a little bit more detail. So another thing that you can put in your arsenal. So we're going to create a quick RGB. We'll go to Effect Channel, and we're going to grab the Shift Channels effect. Make sure that this is above everything. And go to Green, set it to Off. Go to Blue, and set that Off as well. Then take your title stack here and duplicate it. Turn off the red and we'll turn the green back on and we'll duplicate it once more. Turn off the green and then set this to blue. Take your two top layers here and set the blend mode to screen. And all you have to do is offset this. Now you can hit piano keyboard for position and just kind of offset this. But with the turbulent displace effects, we can just use something a little unique. We can just increase the size by a hair. This way before it goes into distortion, you'll see that's all the original color and then boom, now it gets into the RGB split effect which is really unique. So with all these effects and techniques put together, you have a really unique composition like this. Uh, remember that these effects can be used for other things as well. So now you have an expanded arsenal of creative effects and techniques that can be used to help make your work stand out and just add a little bit of extra chaos to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. We got the tutorials on there and always, be creative.